So we can start with the very first one and I will take it from the left to the right. So you can see we are under the product structure and I will start with product division structure. So we can write it again, uh, product, product division structure. Imagine a company Heinz. Why, why would be uh, suitable for them to divide their company according to their products? Because they are making a lot of these products, a lot of ketchup, a lot of uh, frozen vegetables, a lot of canned food. So let's imagine such a company. We will have some CEO, CEO, and then we are going to have some support functions. So here are going to be support functions, functions. And we will keep them central. That is the first idea of product division structure. So we can have, we can have maybe uh, marketing, so marketing, then we can have uh, research and development, so research and development. And then as we are moving down, we will uh, split our manufacturing. So we will, here are going to be our manufacturing, manufacturing functions. And we will split them according to our product. So if, if we are in case of Heinz, we can at first have the division of uh, frozen vegetables. So frozen vegetables. Then we can have maybe a division of uh, canned food. So canned food. And we can continue this way. So why is it uh, so good for us uh, that uh, we, we will split our manufacturing cost and keep our support functions centralized. Well, we the, the point here is that if we would split the marketing, well, maybe it would bring some benefit for us, but it would be very costly, so we can save costs. Save costs, thanks to that, that we keep our support functions centralized. Centralized. And why are we splitting our manufacturing? Because we have much better control and much better monitoring. So monitoring is easier. Is easier. Just imagine any kind of uh, standards. Well, each of these are very different products. So we are measuring different attributes considering the performance. So this was the very short idea of uh, product division structure. What is important to remember is that the support functions are centralized so we can save some costs and the manufacturing uh, functions are split according to different product lines. And I will, I will just write this one more word. So these are product lines. Product lines. So you can literally imagine the, the product line as if you are making a new car so that here the product begins and it goes through uh, several processes until it is created. So each of these buildings or each of these uh, countries where we have our division, there is this our product line where we make the product from the beginning till its end. So hopefully see you in the next video where I will make the multi-divisional one.